uh, no. Uh, we learn just now about uh, bad various users, bad command basically, and we are also creating a hollow section. And we also learned about chamfer and fillet. That is, at present, we have learned about pad command, creating hollow section using the same pad command, <coughs> creating uh, hollow section using uh, pad command, and how to make the section to be normal to some other line or some other curve. <coughs> that also we learned. <coughs> Application that is chamfer and fillet also, we have learned how to create a chamfer on a product and on an object, <coughs> either on the 3D screen or on the sketcher plane. Sketcher plane, we are going to uh, make the sketch accordingly, the, giving the required chamfer, uh, whereas in the 3D plane, we just use a command, fillet the chamfer commands to create the uh, chamfer or fillet. Uh, now I will open the AutoCAD screen. <coughs> this is open. I will just once again open just to show you how we can open. And you can close this. You can select part design. But we have already having a one file there. So I will select that. Close this. This is product space it's not required you can close it or directly open on it this housing that is what the name we have given you open that see. <clears throat> this is a product we have created the chamfer and other things here <clears throat> okay chamfer we have created by using uh, uh, this uh, sketch up right and now so if you want let it be there or we will remove it if you need anyway let it be there for time being so this is the uh, now we learn more about these things so now what we have done hollow section we created this we have done adding thickness we learn about it <coughs> how to add the thickness Let's see, there is one icon here, thickness profile. This toolbar is called the same, it belongs to the uh, chamfer and other things. In this toolbar, there is a thickness command. Okay. This, you have to click on this, it shows how much default thickness. Default thickness face, we have to select the face, one face. Suppose we want to select the face, you can, suppose we select this face. So it shows 10, we can change it here if you want, or we can change the screen itself. And this, here itself we can change. Now click on this, it has increased. <clears throat> this chamfer is also increased. Because I increase the thickness, chamfer remains there it is. Because uh, suppose I open this screen, how it looks. Uh, this remains the same, simply thickness is added here. <clears throat> Automatically, the same profile, the entire profile will be ex extended, projected. That is the adding the thickness. <clears throat> So the same thing as it is, the uh, screen we chose brown color, the same thing will be just projected up and the chamfer here remains as it is. Suppose there is no chamfer, how it looks, that we will learn about it. So there is no chamfer, I will remove the chamfer here. So I can remove this, but it cannot be open profile, so it has to be closed. We have to join these two lines. Correctly, how to join this line? <clears throat> there is a command called trim, as we have seen in AutoCAD. This command, click here, select one line, and the other line you want to trim is this line. Trim, click, 
and it is straight. Similarly, I want to trim the other one also. I want to remove the fillet. This is a command trim. <clears throat> Already pad is drawn. Now you select it. It shows this color, red color. That is not updated. Update it and you get. <clears throat> now see, it has been projected here. <clears throat> There is no chamfer, it is projected, full face is projected. <clears throat> Suppose you want to project this face also, you want to project this face. Click on this, two faces it shows, and you can increase. Both of them increase in the 20 end. <clears throat> Suppose you don't want to project one face only, you want to delete it. You select this, click here, it is removed. Suppose you want to select a, a, a other thickness face. Let us say this. And this will be of different thickness. Say this is 10 mm. <clears throat> yes. So that means the thickness has two faces. One is 10 mm, one is 20 mm. This is no, both are 10 mm. This is also 10, this is also 10. Uh, I select this. So all have been, let us see. Ten mm, ten mm. Suppose I want to change this to twenty. What is going to happen? Let us see. So default thickness is always applied to the entire face. So how to uh, keep different thicknesses that we will learn about it. Let us see whether we can do it. <clears throat> now I will remove this. <clears throat> Once again thickness, I want to increase this space by 20 mm. Okay. You can add another face here itself that is also 20 mm. Both of them. Okay. Now you once again select. <clears throat> you select here ten. Select this space. See. Now there are two different thicknesses. In one case, you have increased by twenty mm. This space and this space. It shows a color. This also you can click and can click other face. And in the another thickness too, you have increased this base to 20. So like the different thicknesses can be maintained by selecting thickness depending upon how you require. <clears throat> We have learned about increasing the thickness. Any faces, we can increase thickness. Once again, you select another thickness. If you want to increase, increase. it's already there. Note that other character face already thickened, so you can't do it. I think. You can do it, but it is further increase. It's already 20 mm, and here it is additionally 20 mm, 30 mm. Totally, it will be increased by 30 mm. Okay, <clears throat> well, this is how thicknesses can be increased. <clears throat> and also, in the same thing, we will measure whether uh, the thicknesses have been increased or uh, to what extent. I will remove one by one and I will tell you how to measure the things. Geometrical sizes we can measure. For that, we had to use this icon, measure item one, chose like a vernier. We had to use this. So, what we do, suppose we want to measure this, this, this length, this thickness, then what we have to do is click on this vernier and definitions are there. So, we want to measure the measure between, so we want to measure between this and this. So, and this is measure between in chain mode. This is measure 
bit in the frame mode. So we, we normally use this measure between, click on this, project the screen here. It shows here also how it is measured. And <clears throat> you want to measure from this face and to this line. So it shows 50 mm. <clears throat> 50 mm. <clears throat> Suppose you OK this. All these things have been measured. You can know how much it is uh, the thickness B. So once again, I will show you the space and just like it is 50 mm, it shows me here. Measure between these things will be projected. Okay. So we have not added measure here. So it is like that. <clears throat> Keep the measure means if you click on this, let, let us see what is going to happen. It is kept. See, measure then should be remain there. This you can in fact hide it if you don't want to see. If you don't want this, you can delete that. Can delete. Okay. So we'll come to that later on. Can delete or we can retype. I will undo the things now. Undo how to do undo, we'll see. Undo click once, twice, it is under. That is measuring is under. <clears throat> and similarly, if you want to measure the lens. Here, this face to this line, it shows 500. Okay? So, other way is put it in a regular plane, the XY or YZ plane, then you also you can measure it. Easily you know it. See, 500. When you measure these things, uh, see, you measure from this face, uh, this face, to this face or this side is doing the same. Click the same thing. So you have to see here, x, this is the x direction. So y direction will be, click here, click here. See, this is the y direction, this is the y direction. <clears throat> and you can also manipulate, instead of clicking here, you can, you can rotate this, uh, what do you call this, is a toolbar, compass. You can rotate this compass. You rotate also, you can do it like this. Anyway, you can bring this. And you click here, it comes in point. Either you can click here and rotate, or you can just here you can hold and rotate it. So here I have pressed mouse left hand button. Okay. <clears throat> Once I you click like this. <clears throat> if you just move it like this, it moves only forward, whichever direction. Select this like this. That is this command, this pan. <clears throat> Click this, it comes to the isometric view position. <clears throat> this is what measure between lengths. That's what I showed you here. You can click it here, or you can click this. Measure between, between this. And suppose this is a face, bring it here. Let's show pan. You bring it to the original portion, you will know which is from here, you will know which side we are measuring. <clears throat> so this is how we can use the measure command. And now we will learn about thickness. I have shown you how to increase the thickness. Application of draft, adding thickness we have seen, chamfer we have seen, and hollow suction how we created, adding pad command. Pocket we have not dealt with yet, and we will deal with 
deal with it. Now creating flanges, how we use pad command to creating flanges. We will see that after. <clears throat> see, this is complete rectangular part. Suppose we want to have a uh, thickness, we assign a thickness to that. That we have seen. You connected this. We have thickened it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> the same command, we want to add flanges on both ends, in this end and this end. <clears throat> For that, what we have to do is <clears throat> we can, once again, not on the same sketch, make another sketch. <clears throat> Click on this. You have to select the sketcher plane. By clicking this, it is going to be a sketcher plane. That is, YZ plane will be projected. Why we will, once you click on this, we will be start working on YZ plane. That is sketching we are doing. So lines, everything will be drawn there only, not on this 3D screen. Drawing lines on any plane 2D dimension, 2D drawings can be done on the sketcher plane. This is a 3D plane, we can't do anything else here. Click here. <clears throat> it has come. And this is already the picture is there, hard out tube. <clears throat> you want to draw a flange to this. So you have to draw exactly line overlapping this, just exactly at the edge. For that, what we have to do is there is one project 3D elements. This is an icon. Product 3D from here, you are projecting a line. You click on this line, okay, then you select this, you highlight this line, that is focus on this line and select this. So this has become a line here, but don't leave it as it is. With this selected, you click on this, convert, this is construction of standard element. This, by clicking on this, you are converting line into a construction line and no pad, nothing can be done. It is just used for construction purpose. So this is in this shows a dotted line. <clears throat> this line is used only for construction purposes or nothing else. <clears throat> but this is just a trace of 3D element. That is 3D edge. This, this is a trace of this edge because we have to draw another picture. I mean another picture or another drawing, another line diagram we can call, we have to click this because it should just exactly coincide with this. Similarly, you can take this end and click here. Construction is selected. It is directly selected because we have already highlighted this construction line is selected. <clears throat> now, what you do is from here, you draw a line. So you can select this point, connect to that point, and here it is dotted. So we want a full line because we have to work on this and we have to create a project like this. Then. If you use it as it is, you can't do any pad, pocket, nothing can be done. So we have to convert into actual 3D line. So you click on this, it is converted to 3D line. Okay, this is one line, another line. <clears throat> this is green, showing that it is constrained. That means this line is always connected to this construction line. Suppose I remove this, let us see. Remove this. And remove here also. See, it becomes, this becomes white. That means it is not connected to the construction line. It is independent. This is, of course, is dependent because it is on the vertical axis and you can assign lengths to these things. We have selected the lines and we can assign lengths to these things. Or you can leave it as it is, independent dependent on the construction line. Okay, let us leave it, for example, as it is. Okay, now you click on this. Draw here. Draw this. Here. <clears throat> draw this. Okay. Now 
This is true. But bring it to the 3D plane. This is what we have drawn. <clears throat> so now you apply pad command here. It is projected. You want to convert it to a flange. What we have to do is first you have to assign a thickness. Flanges will not be so long. Uh, long. So it will maybe say about uh, say at 10 mm. So this is the 10 mm. This is totally covered, but we have to convert into a flange. What we have to do is like this, and you assign a thickness to this. Like this. Thickness should be outside. You want to make it a flange with outside thickness, five. Inside thickness. If you want, we can keep or we can make it zero. See, flange. This is a flange. Let me show you. This is a flange. I want to increase the flange width. <clears throat> what we have to do is additional thickness we have to increase. Say this you can make it 20. See, it has become 20. Okay, it is from here it is. This is but this is a part of, it is the same part body, flange is shown separately. This is a, suppose the flange will be inside also, it will be projected up to here. And what we have to do, click on this, click here. And this was 5 mm, as I remember, you make value 5. So this is a complete flange. <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> this is how flange can be drawn, and also we want to draw a flange on this side. Let us say now we need not draw one, one more sketch, we can use the same sketch to draw a flange on the other side. For that, what we have to do is the distance from this end to this end. This we can either measure. From this, we can measure the length or by knowing the pad, how much we have projected. This we projected 500 from the zero line. From this line, we have projected 500. So we know the length. This is also selected at YZ plane, and this is projected in the opposite direction, this direction. Okay. This pad too. We can call this pad a name we can give if you need. We can say this is flange. Pad two, inside bracket, if you like. Flange one. I will tell you why I have written flange one later on. Flange one. <clears throat> okay. So this flange will have a thickness of how much you project it. Project 10 mm. If you want, you can reduce thickness of uh, 10 mm and I will split and other things will, uh, I will see inside size will coincide with this hole. Okay. Now we want to draw flange the other end. We know other end distance is 500. Select this once again. Use pad command. Now it shows this direction. You change the direction. Reverse the direction, and now you have here. Suppose we have 500. What is going to happen? Let us see. It won't be projected up to that. So let us say click that. Projected up to that. So we don't want, but we want to be more. We want 10 mm this side extension. From this phase, we want 10 mm. This we made 10 mm. This we can make whatever uh, thickness you want 10 mm, 20 mm, whatever. So if you want 10 mm, you have to put it as 510. If you want to 20 mm, 520, like that. Suppose I say uh, I we want 520 20 mm thickness flange. 
20. Now it has been projected up to 20. Now in the more you can, and whatever you have projected, you have to deduct 500 because you want 520 mm minus 500. Okay. <clears throat> then we have to assign thickness to this. We can assign thickness. We can assign the same thickness or change the thickness. Suppose we assign the same thickness. And this is the flash. <clears throat> Flange. This is here. This flange is thicker, and this flange is thinner because we selected pad. We have selected 20. Suppose we select the 10 mm, it would have been the same thickness as this. Okay, this we can call flange 2. Uh, we can assign, we can say properties. We can say here. So, this is also having hollow. Suppose you don't want it to be hollow, other side should be closed. Click on here, click on definition, and only you increase thickness, thickness you make it zero. Uh, since we have drawn the sketch and we can make it thickness zero or we have to make it uh, we have to close this no so we have to make 25 let us see what is going to happen it is closed made thickness it is closed because the 50 it was the width and it's 25 25 it is closed okay So I will make it 20, how much it will be? Small slit is open. Now if you make it 20, it will be closed. Okay. So now I will not close this. I will maintain zero. And it is only 5mm to here. Flush with the inner face. You want to have it flush with the inner face. That is, this uh, tube was 5 mm thickness. You make it fine, flush with it in that case. This is how we can do as it is. It means this is a rectangular tube. Both sides we have added flanges. Flanges having width about, uh, uh, we can see flange, flange with 20 and 5. The other one. projection is 20 mm outside and the thickness here it is uh, 20 mm 20, 20 mm and it is here thickness is 10 mm okay with the same pad command we can draw so many things flanges we can draw tube we can draw solid also we can create okay this is all <clears throat> you can try. Suppose I make this a remote thickness, what is going to happen? See, try to update. It is not updated. Step you need to edit. Click here. Here, what we have done, you know, we selected a construction line which is the projection. So I have to remove that construction line. This is construction line. This we have to remove. And then you draw it. And similarly, this side also, I think we have selected the construction line. Okay, let us see whether it will we bring it to the sketcher pad. Still, it is remains the same. Click it. Still it shows, so we have to remove the other one also. Because uh, since we remove the thickness, that line, the projection of that line, but that line doesn't appear at all. So we have to remove this. 
Learn, G, connect this. And now we can assign parameters, 100 mm. So it is, figure is constrained. Constrained means it cannot be changed. And it remains the same. That is what uh, uh, we have learned in AutoCAD also. Same thing is applicable here. Click here, it has changed. Here is the plan. This is a solid one. Convert into flange. Okay. Suppose you want to full, we have to thickness. We have to increase at once. You want to cover fully. Increase the thickness. Twenty-five. Okay, this is how we can do it. So that is how we can draw various things in, by using pad command. Now I will remove these things for time being. And one more thing you have to know is these are all is only one part. The flange, everything is one part, single part, as if it is made from a single uh, object, a single piece, it has a machine from a single piece. Suppose it's a fabrication. Then we have to make it separate. We have to plan, we have to call it separate, and that I will explain you uh, later on the class. Okay. <clears throat> this is all we can use. Add command. Now let us see what are things we have done. Draft. We are left with only draft command. So I will briefly explain the draft command in this class. Uh, we use this draft angle trap to use the draft. This or this. So uh, this we will deal in detail in the next session. At present, I will close this. <clears throat>